So, there are two different machines. Uh, on this node, just to show you the example, I've got branded zones on there. Uh, you can't cluster branded zones. Um, but, for example, if you're migrating on legacy applications and there's too much uh, financial impact to migrate them to newer versions of Solaris, um, or for whatever reason decreed by the application vendor, they are tied to those. Uh, for whatever left in their life cycle, you could run branded zones. Um, but unfortunately, you can't cluster those with a zone cluster. So the thing that's worth mentioning here is for each zone cluster, there are two zones running on each of the nodes. And I can connect to them separately. same uh, zone name within the zone ADM list output, they are different names. The whole concept is you have the application running on your Zephyr storage appliance uh, and you fail the application across, just the application. Everything else stays underneath it the same. So I don't know whether I was being thick that day, but it took me a little while to grasp that part. I don't know why. I think I was used to the whole just fell over everything, the whole storage, everything else go, go yeah. across. So in terms of our cluster, If guys still want to see, if you guys want to see specific things, just keep shouting out. I'm going to just keep showing you the various components before we run out of time. I guess in the sense you're doing all this in the command line, but you, you can see all this by opposite against it. Okay. Good plug for Interop Center. So Op Center uh, is running in embedded mode on the supercluster. Currently we run it in single instance uh, at this point in time. Uh, we will start moving down the high availability option uh, when, when we're ready to do so it's supported. Uh, so we have to make use of a database. We run that in an X data database. Uh, second elbow on the platform. There's my box into database running in rack. And we talk over the InfiniBand uh, network to connect to the database from the same compute node that Opsent was running from. <coughs> There's our Opsent process running there. A screen which I can't see much on. <laughs> 
sort of by sponge, I just want to grab this. So apologies for the small screen. Um, what you'll see here as you log into Op Center is our single entity super cluster uh, and each of the components uh, within the platform. So in this case, here's our two T5 compute nodes. If we drill down, we can break down into each of the LDOMs and each of the Solaris instances which effectively are running within the LDOM. Uh, if you have zones running, All my S10 Solaris cluster, there's all my rounded zones, and then each of my zone clusters will be shown up as single entities. With each of those, you can drill down uh, into the, the configuration, see the CPU utilization, uh, jump onto the console, uh, memory, CPU utilization, etc., etc., processes. You can set up thresholds. You can do a whole bunch of things with OpsCenter in terms of uh, alerts and, and, and metrics. Um, if it's something you guys are interested in seeing specifically, I can get one of my OpsCenter colleagues to come along and, and show you the in-depth uh, nature of OpsCenter. Uh, as far as we're concerned, from a supercluster perspective, uh, mainly used for, for, for monitoring and alerting. Uh, so getting the SNMP alerts from each of the components to tell you when things go wrong. Uh, and you can hook into to Moz get it to automatically raise service requests, etc., etc., and keep track of what's happening on the platform. And as I said earlier, um, I'm actually jumped onto the OpsCenter console on the Supercluster itself. If you had a, a, another OpsCenter specific dedicated server to your, your um, business unit or company, uh, then you would just see the uh, Supercluster as a single entity, and you could jump onto it and you jump into this um, management interface and control the components, etc. Unfortunately, I'm not an op center expert, so I can't um, drill down. Unless anyone's got any specific questions about it whilst we're on the page. So not, not only just the uh, T5 compute nodes, you can jump onto the storage nodes, um, see what's going on on the the shares as far as the ZFS storage appliances are concerned. And yeah, apologies for our very small screen. Um, each of the infinity band switches, uh, you can get port utilization for both the infinity band switches uh, and the uh, Cisco switch. PDUs and the storage, extended storage cells. can't get too much data from OpsCenter as far as the storage cells are concerned. Uh, you can just get the hardware metrics, uh, which you as a sysadmin is probably all you're concerned about. Uh, it would be the DBA's responsibility to, to worry about the, you know, the, the ASM disk group. And they can use Enterprise Manager to, to, to sort that out. No, I just when I thought of the op center because I thought the center the idea you'd be encouraged to use op center rather than doing too much of the OS level. It's, and it's the same, I mean, you, you, are, you, you sort of having restrictions and you're saying that sort of, it's like the engineered system saying, oh God, don't get on the operating system because... <laughs> what you're saying is, we're, do we discourage you from doing stuff by the CLO? Uh, we're not saying you must use op center, otherwise we'll invalidate your support contract. No. And it's safe to say that Op Center would not enforce those configuration restrictions either. It's no. not, it's not uh, cognizant of all the valid configurations and valid options. Just another administrative yeah, avenue to go down. So you can make the same mistakes with Op Center that you can make with yeah. the CLA. Okay. I think the value of Op Center comes in if you've got multiple platforms, multiple engine systems trying to manage them. Um, same as if you've got too many data patches, you might want to consider using. Enterprise Manager. Sorry, so you can do, for example, I was checking that you can jump from one zone to another and see what is running in that zone, like we see now here in the database. You can do the same thing in, in the ops, in this Enterprise Ops server? 
Yeah, in terms of uh, jumping to each other. Not exactly if he's running or he's not running. So, for example, you, s you were jumping from in the operating system, and he's telling you, okay, he's running a database or maybe application or something. Of course, it's not no for the administrator to see if it's working or not. This is more for the other. Uh, but you, you will know exactly which applications with this tool is running, like you did with the uh, operating system? Not so much applications as far as your... Oh, well, the processes. Uh, yeah, I mean, you you can see what's running in the box. Okay, so you want to more So yeah, but, um, okay. it, th there aren't any specific application third party plugins. No, but yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. um, okay. In terms of database, yeah. You, yeah, yeah. You, you, you know, it's only to see the processes is is, is um, because you have this tool. Of course, I I prefer as well to do it in the operating system. Uh, absolutely. Because yeah. it's, it's you you it, this tool doesn't work and you don't know how to do it. You have yeah. so. But maybe for a facility and quickly visibility uh, to jump the nodes and everything, you can see between which zone, which process are running. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, you can open different windows, or is so. I mean, the op center. You can do anything about the op center, basically. I mean, that's the idea. Yeah, I think I think I'll probably speak for most people here. Have been this happens for a long time. There's nothing like a command line. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you're not speaking to the person who's probably best to, to, to assure the value of a GUI where a command line. No, is no, I'm, I'm against too. Yeah. But uh, but some sometimes helps you. And uh, yes, but but when you want to do so, but. For me, it, yes, I always think that to know the processes on the running zone. Yes, a zone. Yes, let's have a look. If you have a big enough window. Oh, this is going to be the challenge, guys. Um, yeah. If only we had some good design, we would really be trying. Yeah. This is going to be on the screen. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. I think if you went down to processor sets and other file granularity within the zone, um, then you'd see that as well. But um, yeah, if you want to see some, some more in depth box entry stuff, then I can get one of my colleagues to come back. No, 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 it's only I ask you because uh, so these kind of tools have been running for ages in another kind of, so mapping in another platforms in another, for example, HP. I used to use HP years ago, yeah. and they have this and. Uh, and um, Sometimes we use it only to quick, but then say no, you have to go to the back end yeah. to check yeah. because it's good for a thousand foot overview of which servers. Exactly, yes, quickly, and then back to yeah, I mean, to the server. I guess the other value for using any management tool is you can get you know metrics for, for the life cycle of when it's installed. So kind of useful. Can't really do that from the command line. I mean, we we have far too many. Uh, monitoring tools on Supercluster, um, <laughs> uh, Op Center, um, and well, I don't use very much. Uh, OS Watcher runs, um, which still collects a, 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 a static bunch of uh, metrics for, for, for use um, in diagnosing performance issues if you're trying to take it down. Um, the thing is, is with. with um with Oracle, it's trying to push you a lot with that, with that kind of tool. With, for example, for me, with Oracle Enterprise Manager, grid uh, control, I have either bad, bad experiences, and I don't like to use it. And, uh, but this is a database, an application yeah. server, and everything. But now, with the cloud version, hopefully it's better. But I always don't like to use it because it doesn't give me what I want. Give me the general visibility, but for me, it's not accurate. So okay. that's what I was asking about this, how accurate is in telling you what is going on. Yeah, I mean... So, it, it's, I'm curious, I prefer the operating system or go in the back end, because... Yeah, uh, I mean, I, I, if I you want to do reporting, set alerts for CPU utilization, memory consumption, mm -hmm. op center is probably the best. Yeah, if, if, you, if, you're, if you're a manager and like pie charts, then yeah, <laughs> it's probably useful yeah. for doing things like that. <laughs> But nothing's going to replace uh, No, of course not. Dialing course, directly yes. in, of course. You have to know it, otherwise... Right, I don't want to keep you too long. Um, X-Data storage cells, let's jump onto one of those. Um, 